What's happening, man? It's your boy Jay Yannick back in the building. The Unbox Boy is back in the building. Check this out. I know I showed you. I know I showed you about the New Balance 550 Conversations Amongst Us. Check that video out right here, okay? I showed you about that first. But now today, I have received in the mail from Social Status North Carolina. Shout out to North Carolina, man. Shout out to North Carolina. If you know me, you know why. From Social Status North Carolina, I have received in the mail the 2002R Conversations Amongst Us. <laughs> That's right. The 2002R Conversation Amongst Us. So what I'm going to do right here, this video is not about, you know, about the shoe. It's not going to go all the way about the shoe. But a lot of people have asked me, yo, Jay, should I get this shoe in the aftermarket because I missed out for retail? Should I get this shoe in the aftermarket? Answer is yes, but which one should I get? So that's the question I'm gonna be answering today on this video. Which one should you get if you missed out on the Conversations Amongst Us 550 or the 2002R? So let's get into it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so we can go on up, baby. Let's go ahead and pull out the 550. Let's go ahead and pull out the 550. See what the 550. If you didn't see the first video, you can go back and click on that so you can see the first video. But let's get out the 550. Boom, there we go. We got the 550 right here out. Nice, cool. Put it right there on the side. Nice little side angle so you can see the 550. After the 550, we will show you the 2002R. Let's get into the 2002R right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. The box is here. Bam, just landed today. Now, it's time for the 2002R. Here we go. Oh, box is definitely bigger. Shout out to APB Store, by the way. One more time for APB Store. Cause, yo, the social status packaging is always crazy. It's always a heck to get into. Oh, they sent stickers. I love stickers. APB Store stickers. Shout out to APB Store and these stickers. I love stickers. I love when I get stickers. I put stickers everywhere. I'm a sticker fanatic. If you got stickers and you make stickers, send them on over, man. Here we go. Same box. Conversation amongst us. New Balance 2002R. Same box. Nine and a half. Okay. What colorway is this? There is no colorway. See, I don't like that about New Balance. That's the one thing I don't like about New Balance is they don't put colorways on their boxes. Let's show you that right there. They don't put colorways on their boxes. So if I have a pile of New Balances, I just really have to sit there and remember the SKUs. And that's not a good thing. I can't even remember what I ate yesterday. So how am I gonna remember the SKUs? But being that this is a special box for the Conversations Amongst Us campaign, I believe I will remember and know which box these are in. So same as, I gotta shout this out one more time. I have to shout this out one more time because this is, <laughs> this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part right here. Designed and curated by Joseph Robinson and a team of black associates at New Balance. My, come on, come on, come on. Do you know what that means? Not gonna talk about it. I just wanna know, do you know what that means? Cause it means a lot to me. Hope it means a lot to you too. Here we go. Two th oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Hold on. Experiencing for first time. 2002 R. Here we go. Straight out the gate. I don't know what to say. Remember, this video is to you know, give a light and say which one I think that you should go for. So, hmm, here we go. 2002R, the 550. Okay. All right, let's get into the shoe. Leather, didn't know it was leather. I did not know it was leather. Okay, yeah, didn't know that this was leather. This is leather with a, is this mesh? No, this is not mesh. What is this? Let's take this out. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of like the Union Dunk right here. I need to know what this like Exacto knife toe box is called because a lot of people are using this right now, and I definitely got it with the Union Dunk. Oh, I love that. 
I definitely love that. The inside, see the 550 doesn't have anything cool on the inside. The 550 just has conversations amongst us. The 2002R has the, um, the logo on the inside. I can't get that, here we go, there it is. The logo on the inside, the logo on the inside for the conversations amongst us. I think the logo should have been in both shoes. I really wonder why they didn't put it in the 550. Hmm. Did they not have enough space? They could have made the font smaller. They could have made the picture smaller. Okay, the outsole is dope. It's like a gum, icy gum. The outsole is dope. That's like an icy gum right there, and I think that's pretty dope. I like that a lot, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty dope. The leather, the leather is good leather. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was some good leather. There's some suede on the heel. Oh, dropped it. There's some suede on the heel also. Definitely not mad at that. There's some suede on the heel. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, it looks like the, am I correct? Is the New Balance a little shiny? Do we see a little shine? It might be 3M. It might be 3M on the New Balance logo. Do you see any shine there? I think it could be 3M. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I love the suede on the back. I love the suede on the back. This one says conversations. The other one says amongst us. That's pretty dope. I definitely love the suede on the back. That's pretty dope. It seems like they put a lot more effort in the 2002R because we have a new buck suede. We have a regular suede on the side. We have like this suede right here is so soft right here. This suede right here is very soft. This suede at the bottom is, is a little bit nice and is a little bit uh, more rough. This suede at the bottom is a little bit more rough, but this suede right here is super nice. I wish they would have put this suede for the bottom as well because that would have really hit it off. But they did put it on the tongue and they did put it on the, on the toe box as well. They put it on the tongue and the toe box, so I'm not mad at that. But a little bit more of the premium suede, I would have been ex super excited. I'm not mad at this shoe. I thought I was gonna be mad at the 2002R. Um, for anybody that asks, I've owned 2002Rs before. The Salehe Benberries in the protection packs, yes, they fit true to size. If you have a wide foot, you might wanna go up a 0.5. If you have a wide foot, you might wanna go up a 0.5. But if you have a skinny mini foot like I do, a nine and a half, I am true to size and I'm not mad at it. All right, here we go, face off. Let's do the face off. Can we get them both in frame? Can we get them both in frame? Let's get both shoes here. Let's get both shoes here and let's get them both in frame and let's have a face off. Because this video is which one should you purchase? It's already sold out, it's already done. The face off has begun. The 2002R or the 550. I want you to drop in the comments right now which one you like better. I wanna get your honest opinions and I wanna do like a poll here. I wanna know which one you think is better. 2002R, 550. Conversations amongst us, Joe Fresh Goods. Off the top, I'm not gonna play any mini mini mo. I really want to, but I'm not gonna. Off the top, I think I'm going with the 550. I think I'm going with the 550. See the 550, the thing about the 550 is, it's clean. That's clean, clean, very clean, okay? Very clean. That makes this shoe more, I wouldn't say wearable, because definitely the 2002R is more wearable. The price tag on 2002R's retail was 150. The price tag on the 550's retail was 220. Let's take it to StockX right now and let's see what the aftermarket is talking about so you know exactly which one you should go for to see what the price is doing like. Okay, here we go. Let me pull this up. All right, I'm only gonna go off of my size. I have them here, I have the prices. I'm only gonna go off of my size because this is what I have in front of me. So, this is 120, the 550 is 120. Right now on StockX, they're going for the lowest ass 235. Highest bid 220. So that's 100 that's 100 dollars over if you're hitting for the bid plus tax and shipping. It's not bad because this shoe is, is very 
like I said, it's very clean. It's gonna get a nice wear. So you're gonna get that nice fit off. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the fit that you're gonna go for and you're gonna be hitting in the streets. Like, oh, what you, you killing them right now? Oh, what you got on? What are those? Those are new balances? You killing it right now. That's, that, that's the type of thing you're going for. The 550 is it. I believe the 2002R is less popular. Now, it says that it's less popular right here. Why? Because this shoe costs $150 retail. The aftermarket price for it, according to StockX right now, is $181. $181 with a bid of $175? $25 over? You know who to call. And it ain't Ghostbusters. It's the 2002R, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 2002R. Listen, you can still get fly for retail. You can still be a part of the story for retail. That is damn near retail, okay? Say you purchased this shoe from a website across the, across the pond. You'd have to pay for that shipping. You'd end up spending 185, okay? 175, place a bid right now. Yes, the 550 is more popular. Yes, the 550 is a little bit more clean. But if you're on a budget and you ain't you balling on the budget, the 2002R is the way to go. Listen, it's not about buying it in the aftermarket. It's about being a part of the story. And I think that both of these shoes are great shoes. I really do. Another thing about it is, and it's probably why, because I'm not sure if the 550 is only is. I'm not sure if the 550 is really that much more popular, but like I said on my podcast, I do know that there were way more 2002 R's than there were 550. The place that I heard some of my friends get their 2002 R's from did not, did not have 550s. That's JD Sports, Foot Locker, Finish Line, etc. Those places did not have 550s. So this was more limited than the 2002 R. So. Like I said, if you want to get fly and you want to be more limited and you want to, you know what I mean, you want to kill them out there, 550 is the way to go. But if you're balling on a budget and you still want to get them and hit them in the streets, 2002R is it too. Listen, I'm done. I told you my pick. I'm going with the 550. I, 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 I'm going with the 550. It's clean. Clean. Very clean. Okay? Very clean. I'm going with the 550. And yeah, man, let me know. Let's talk. Let's talk, you know I love to talk. Hit those comments, let me know which one you're picking. 2002R or the 550? Jay Yannick signing out, y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We are at, uh, at right now, I think 430 subscribers. Come on, man, let's run it up, man. We gotta get to 500. Let's get to 500, let's do this. All right, y'all, peace. And Minga sat down on the piano.